So one of the first things I picked up is the Hill Country Fair fruit and um, grain cereal bars in the apple variety. I've tried these in the blueberry variety and they're absolutely amazing. And one thing that I love these for is for breakfast. I love grabbing just a simple cereal bar, having a piece of fruit on hand and you know calling it a morning because I am very on the go. I never actually like wake up with an enormous amount of time to cook a big elaborate breakfast so these are very very good to just give you some nutrition and they're honestly not bad they say they're made with real fruit no high fructose corn syrup 120 calories um, only 11 grams of sugar and that's per one bar so I really like these and the Hill Country Fair brand at HEB is very very inexpensive like honestly you could find a lot of dupes for many products on um, with the Hill Country Fair brand and I really do enjoy that. And one thing that also makes these absolutely amazing is that they're not a dupe for the um, Cliff Bars. That if you don't know, those are like high protein energy bars that are like really high calorie. And so you only eat them when you're about to work out or you're going to do some vigorous activity. But these are not a dupe for it. But these do give me a lot of energy. Maybe not as much as the Cliff Bars, but I'd say these are pretty good if you're just looking for something quick and easy in the morning time purchase the Hill Country Fair mac and cheese and you can literally get a five pack of these for like a dollar. I know these aren't the healthiest things especially because they have processed cheese in them and you have to use um, various amounts of salt but honestly my husband and I love these for when we're just wanting a quick and easy dinner and oftentimes we use these with pigs in a blanket and it makes the perfect little dinner without actually having to try too hard and for how inexpensive this is I really think that it's a good go-to when you want to be lazy for dinner but you know you need something and mac and cheese is just a staple in our household yes I will say right off the bat that I am very very lactose sensitive but if I use this with lactose free milk the cheese that's already in here shouldn't bother me too much and I just think that this is a good go-to when you want to be lazy. So on our list was the Hill Country Fair Double Cheeseburger Macaroni. Now I do have to say right off the bat that this one does make me a little sick because it's literally double cheeseburger. So I have to be very careful with this. I can't eat too much of this. But actually just the other night we had the lasagna variety of this. And if you're unaware, this is totally just the cheap brand of Hamburger Helper. And honestly, I really do like these. These are a staple for us as well. I remember as a kid with my dad in the Air Force, we always ate a crap ton of hamburger helper when my dad was deployed because he hates hamburger helper and so my mom would never buy it but every time he was deployed it was do you want hamburger helper kids and my siblings and I scarfed these down so this is just an inexpensive version of hamburger helper and in my opinion it totally tastes the same and I love having this with like the little rolls or adding you know um, a little bit of vegetables to it on the side but all in all this is a very good rich protein meal. It does have quite a bit of carbs in it and I have to be very careful about what I eat because my grandfather's diabetic, my mom's diabetic, and so I'm, it's genetic. I'm like doomed to get it if I'm not careful. But I just eat a smaller amount of this, maybe save the leftovers for lunch the next day and it kind of evens itself out that way. These are the bacon bits by Hill Country Fair for literally just a dollar and these are not a staple whatsoever. I literally just got these to top on um chili, um, mashed potatoes, things like that. I literally like have never tried these before. Um, if you care to see, they're literally like little bacon. So for a dollar, I thought why not? And I actually really do like these. I use these whenever I can. Yes, they are artificial, so they're not real bacon bits whatsoever. You keep them in the pantry on a shelf. And I'm not sure for how long they keep, but I'm pretty sure, it, you know, you can keep them for a pretty long time. But either way, this was just a fun little thing that I thought was inexpensive. So why not? And I'm pretty sure that this is going to be a reoccurring thing on my shopping list. Select quick oats. I absolutely love these. My husband is a big fan of the individual packaged um, oatmeal that you can get with apples or cinnamon or whatever flavor you want. But this is just so much more cost effective. Um, we use this mainly for breakfast, but sometimes we'll sneak it in as a little snack in the afternoon if we're feeling hungry, but we don't want something like too elaborate. And I love this. My husband makes 
works this the best because he'll microwave it because it's just so easy to just cook it for a minute in the microwave versus stove topping it. If it's just one person that's going to eat it, it makes a very generous serving. And he'll literally put brown sugar um, syrup in there, like the syrup you use on pancakes. And it's just very, very fun and versatile. He definitely puts a fair bit of cinnamon in there per my request. He doesn't really prefer cinnamon in his um, oatmeal, but that's why I love these over the individually packaged because you don't have to get a specific flavor. You can literally just change it up each and every time and these will last you a really long time. Country Fair peanut butter. I'll eat this with a spoon every now and then if I just need a good bit of protein or I'm just feeling kind of famished. But my husband absolutely loves peanut butter sandwiches, especially peanut butter and jelly. And so this is just the inexpensive HEB brand of peanut butter. This is like no big deal. Um, it's for lunches, it's for snacks, it's what have you. I do prefer Sun Butter, which is the um, allergy-friendly school alternative to peanut butter. I think it tastes much better and it has a better texture as well. I've never really been a fan of peanut butter, but my husband prefers peanut butter and it's definitely cheaper than the $5 for a tub like this of Sun Butter for um, the alternative. So this is just a really great staple that we actually don't need to pick up very often because while my husband does eat this quite a bit and they actually do last a pretty long time and even though I prefer the crunchy variety this is the creamy variety because my husband absolutely hates the crunchy kind. These are just the HEB brand of noodles. Here we got the spiral. Here we got the farfalli. We use the spiral just if we want to add meat to it in sauce and cook it up like that. If we just want it with sauce, this is something that we just have when we want something simple and easy for dinner because pasta is like the cheapest, easiest meal. And the farfallis we mainly use in homemade chicken noodle soup because my husband used to get the cans, but then he would end up adding extra noodles and chicken and bouillon as well. And and so I figure why not just make homemade chicken noodle soup. And now this is literally all we use for chicken noodle soup. It works really well and it adds very well to water. It doesn't end up getting mushy or soggy the longer it sits in the soup. And I really like it. So pasta, definitely a staple for us. If you're on a budget, pasta is probably the most you know inexpensive thing that you could buy, even if you're doing Walmart or HEB. So speaking of pasta, this is our sauce, just the Hunts. This is the name brand, but it's so inexpensive it doesn't really matter. Um, this is the meat variety, but I prefer garlic and herbs stand out. I don't really enjoy the meat variety, but my husband seasons it differently with different stuff. He just uses this as a base, so it's not bad, and it's something that we use with with all of our pasta dishes, and it's really yummy, and honestly, I'm pretty sure this is like the only um, H-E-B, I mean non-H-E-B brand of stuff that I've shown you so far, because at H-E-B, their Hill Country Fair brand is so inexpensive, and certain H-E-B select items are inexpensive as well, so that's why we typically go for that brand, but this Hunt's brand, you can find at Walmart, you can find pretty much anywhere that sells groceries, and I really enjoy these. Um, yeah, the meat flavors not my favorite but my husband really enjoys the meat flavors so why not I've already eaten one, but we got two cans of the chili with beans, the Hill Country Fair brand, of course. And this is also something we do when we want a cheap, easy dinner. I'll throw some onions in there. I'll throw cheese on top and mix it in. And it's literally like such a protein-rich meal that it can last you a really long time. My husband especially likes chili with beans before he goes to work because during his job, he's very, you know, exercising and doing a lot of physical work. So having chili with beans beforehand is really handy and also if we're both just feeling lazy and we don't feel like making that elaborate of a meal just pop these on the stove for five minutes pop these in the microwave for five minutes and it's literally just the perfect easy dish and I will never understand people who don't get chili with beans because the kind with beans is to die for it's like the best ever it's gotta have the whole country fair box mashed potatoes I know real mashed potatoes taste so much better but when you're low on time when you don't want 
going to spend time peeling your potatoes, boiling them, all of that stuff. These taste really good despite how you make them. And I, my family and I, we love real mashed potatoes because my mom grew us up on real mashed potatoes. Everybody in our extended families makes real mashed potatoes. But for Mother's Day, we went over to my aunt's house and my husband made these because we were having the job of making mashed potatoes and nobody questioned it nobody you know said anything bad about it and one thing that my husband loves doing with mashed potatoes is adding the Montreal steak seasoning garlic salt and garlic powder and then cheese and making it like this cheesy garlic mashed potatoes and it tastes so good we literally have this with chicken with just Anything that you can have as a side, we love having these. And my husband doesn't do it at all, but I definitely love to make box mashed potatoes as a little snack every now and then when I'm just feeling lethargic and could use a bit of carbs and calories. This is something that I go for. A long grain white enriched rice. We literally just buy the little um, boxes of these for 50 cents a box, super inexpensive. We use this literally for everything with chicken and rice. If we're just wanting a snack, if we're making chicken and rice because our dog Copper gets sent in the stomach sometimes and he can't really have his dog food when he's sick, so then we end up giving him this rice. I mean, this is just a staple for us. We literally make this rice all the time, and sometimes when we don't know what to cook, We'll just do chicken and rice, nothing too elaborate, and I mean, we used to buy the kind from Walmart that was like a five minute kind of rice, and this one is 20 minutes because it's uncooked, whereas the five minute rice was definitely pre-cooked, but there's really not much bad of a difference other than I feel like these are just a lot softer and more chewy versus the five minute ones that were not tough per se but they just I don't know how to explain it but they just didn't really taste the way that these taste so I definitely prefer these and this is like a staple in our you know grocery shopping. These are the Fisher Boy fish sticks, the 44 count, and this is actually the first time I'm ever getting fish sticks from HEB. I've already tried them a couple of times, and they're so delicious and yummy, and I normally get a certain brand of um, chicken nuggets that are like the pre-frozen kind, and it's a bag that has the American flag on it. I forget what brand it is, but I've been getting that religiously for like as ever long as I've been living on my own, and I just decided since my husband and I already do the baked chicken so much that I would just switch to fish sticks and even though you can't microwave fish sticks they have to be oven cooked for about 10 minutes I figure it's still not that bad and I actually really prefer these to chicken nuggets because chicken nuggets are such a greasy hard food that it just makes my stomach kind of sensitive but these don't do that at all they're a uh, fish in general is a much lighter meat so if you have trouble with like beef and things like that or even with like hard processed chicken and you want something that's going to give you that protein but also be a lot lighter on the stomach then I really recommend these and you know I haven't had these other than you know this last time that I bought these but these are really really great and I recommend them and I honestly even think kids would like these because I mean which kid doesn't like fish sticks hope you guys enjoyed this video. Those are just some little things that we picked up. We didn't have to do like a huge hard shopping trip this time, so we just decided to pick up some sides, you know, to make for ourselves for lunches and dinners, and that's pretty much it. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Everything was from HEB, so if you're in, you know, northern Mexico, in Texas, you'll definitely have access to the Hill Country Fair brand, and if not, I'm really sorry, but that's legitimately what my husband and I buy. It's more inexpensive than Walmart. Walmart in the area that we live in and I just really hope that you took something positive from this and you got some ideas of little things to buy that you might not have thought of. I know they're all kind of like voila everybody knows of rice, peanut butter, chicken, all those other things but I mean this is just what we bought last time so I thought I would share it with you guys. So again I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon in another one. Bye guys!